guys. So I officially closed up shop last night with my YouTube uh, supporters this journal, my chunky girl. So you have seen this loads and loads and loads and lots and lots on my Instagram feed because this is the journal I've been working in the most. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's done. It's complete as complete as I think an art journal can get. And I thought I would do a quick flip through. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, then you're hearing my voice and I thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. I do, I did complete this entire thing via YouTube Live for my supporters, tiers $10 and up. And they have, they, if they've, depending on how long they've been there, then they've seen this journal. So it has all kinds of things. Um, wax seals, that's what's right here in the front. I've done some stitching, machine stitching, hand stitching, lots and lots and lots of mixed media. So mark making and cuts and paste and um, gold foil, watercolor. Did I do watercolor? Not a lot of watercolor, maybe a tiny bit. Uh, but lots of acrylic, lots of Stabilo. There are some tuck points. I touched base on some acemic writing and collage and I've done some image transfers. Lots of things, just, oh, stenciling. You know, really, really whatever I felt like doing is what I did. Like. This one's very abstract and moody, not as mark makey as some of these are. Hand stitching, layering, clustering, lots and lots of stuff going on. Using vintage supplies and materials as well as brand new supplies and materials. The construction of the book is based off my bag of bones workshop that's just 17 bucks um, on my website, ddkatron.com, and the bag of bones is this chipboard base book bones that come from my company on wow studio and then lots of vintage text vintage papers this paper here is actually a reproduction i designed this for seven dot studio when i was designing paper for them my washi tapes oh some pieces from rust dyeing i have a rust dyeing workshop and the colors of this uh journal are very vintage black and white and then splashes of rusty orange which i tend to use quinacridone nickel azo gold for by golden and teals blues moody blues i use lots of vintage ephemera different types of papers ledger papers music note book text did some Umwile Studio chipboard. I love how these pieces turned out. Just, and it's a journal. It, I worked each page just however I felt, and it's not a themed book necessarily, though the colors do keep it in a theme. And then tucked at the back is a mini journal. And it opens like this, and there's a little fold out. Really brings the colors of the journal sort of to a close there. I use the Umwile Studio Wheat Stencil, all kinds of goodies in this journal. So this is some rust dyed fibers here, some rust dyed sari, Umwile Studio Sari. Liquitex, Gesso, lots of Stabilo Marksall, Sharpie, uh, paint pen. Yeah. So there you have it and it closes up just nice and tidy like this with a little tag at the bottom closed and done and she is one very very chunky girl